Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith is directed by George Lucas and tells the story about how Anakin turns to the dark side, gets corrupted by the Emperor, and the Empire finally rising to gain control over the entire galaxy. This is in my opinion where George Lucas finally found what he wanted to do with these prequel films. He wanted to tell the story about how Anakin turned into Darth Vader. He wanted to tell the story about how the Empire has risen, how the Jedi has fallen. And it was so engaging, so much fun to watch. It is a lot more darker, definitely the darkest of the entire Star Wars saga in terms of the films. This is the darkest moment for any of these characters. This is the lowest point for any of the moments in Star Wars, like the fall, the Jedi, Order 66, the Empire Rising, and man, this film has what is, in my opinion, the best John Williams Star Wars score of all time. Duel of the Fates returns definitely in many points, but Anakin's betrayal, a path I can't follow, like the birth of the twins, Obi-Wan vs. Anakin, just so many fantastic moments in this film. Order 66, like the musical score is just fantastic. There's a sense of tragedy, of sadness, the epic scale of the score and the opera is just John Williams was on coke and he just went about his day. He probably finished his score within an entire day. He couldn't stop moving his hands. He went all out with his score. It is fantastic. And without it, this movie, for the most part, would have been at least a good 70%. But he brought it to an 85, maybe a 90. Like, the score made so many of these moments, even some of the weaker moments of the film, feel a lot more impactful. This is a movie where the score is a necessity to the film. And without this score, this film will probably not be as iconic as it is. But aside from the brilliant soundtrack, George Lucas does a great job with everything else. The dialogue here is a lot better here. While there are still moments where the dialogue is pretty unnatural, for the most part, he knows when to have his characters just be in silence. There is a moment where Anakin and Padme are looking at each other from afar from two buildings, and it is very impactful. I also love this moment where Anakin starts crying over his dark deeds, but this is where he is now conflicted and now disappointed as to what he has become. A sign that his good side is slowly deteriorating and the evil within him is now consuming him, and he doesn't really like it. You can tell that there is still a lot of inner conflict within that. And seeing him be manipulated by Emperor Palpatine throughout the course of this film is very interesting. Seeing their relationship blossom from the first film to now, and how he has basically grown to trust the Emperor, and seeing it go to the state is sad for him. And Hayden Christian does a pretty good job in this character. He's a lot better here, a lot more natural. He has a lot more wit to his dialogue. And Obi-Wan, while I wish there would have been a little bit more with him, is still really good. Like, Emperor Palpatine was just the best character. The most manipulative, the most evil, and he absolutely chews up the scenery. And as I said before, the visual effects and action sequences are great. Especially the opening scene, the CGI, is probably the best in the entire Star Wars saga in my opinion. It looks so crisp and clear. The space battles are epic and grand in scale. The movement of the camera and how it pans across all these ships from above and below is just absolutely breathtaking. And the lightsaber duels are absolutely great. And while I think they are a bit over choreographed in many places, especially in the final battle, for the most part, I found these lightsaber duels to be some of the best in the entire Star Wars saga. General Grievous vs. Obi-Wan, Anakin vs. Obi-Wan, Yoda vs. Emperor Palpatine. And seeing Yoda use not only just his lightsabers, but the force to go up against him is just great. And seeing these two battles of Obi-Wan and Anakin and Yoda and Palpatine intertwine together 
is just so much fun to watch and it really does feel like this is the concluding chapter of the prequels. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before but this is definitely a lot darker. This is the first PG-13 Star Wars film and you can feel the dread and darkness sipping through the screen. There's dismemberment. There's a lot more bloody and gruesome imagery here and it really does fit in with the dark tone that this movie is going for. The literal final battle is in the middle of a volcanic planet. It is possibly the best set piece for any lightsaber duel I've ever seen. It is absolutely enthralling. And the emotional moments hit especially well. The romance between Padme and Anakin is a lot better here. I found their romance to be a lot more natural. While the dialogue is a bit still at that time still, it is a lot better than the previous film in seeing the tragedy of how this relationship starts to fall apart is just very sad to see actually. And Order 66, my god, that's probably the most tragic set piece in any Star Wars film I've seen. Not only just with John Williams' brilliant score giving so much emotion to this moment, but if you watch The Clone Wars now, and then you go back to this scene, it hits a lot closer to home now. Because you know these characters, you know what they've been through, and seeing them go out like this, it being played as fool the entire time by the same government that was behind them the whole time was just so tragic. And even if you haven't watched The Clone Wars, this scene I still think works pretty well as a very emotional moment in the franchise. If I were to say any problems, some of the dialogue as I said still is pretty stilted and some green screen effects here and there aren't as good. And sometimes the pacing could be a little too fast for my taste. But for the most part, this was a satisfying conclusion to the prequels. It's my favorite prequel. And I just, when I finished this, I couldn't wait to rewatch the original trilogy and see how this story comes to a head with those films. Can't wait to talk about those. Ugh, we're going to have to probably watch Rogue One first. But this movie was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I'm going to give Revenge of the Sith an A-. minus. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.